Oh my goodness, who is that? Hello friends, we're back. Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and thank you so much for being so freaking patient with me because your girl's been gone for like a month, maybe two, I don't know. The time has just dragged on. I just thought that we could go through a little life update before we hit the gym since, again, it's been so long. It's been a minute. Since I've been gone, I've been working like every single day. I work at a law firm downtown. Hold on, let me back up one second. If you're new here, I went to law school. I graduated in May. Finally, whew, longest three years of my life. Anyway, we made it through that and I immediately got a job at a law firm in estate planning, so I'm handling people's trusts, I'm drafting trusts and wills and things like that for, you know, some pretty wealthy people here in Silicon Valley. There's a lot of money out here. In case you care, if you don't care about this part, you can skip ahead to the workout, but if you're a little interested in like some of the back end of like law school, I can let you know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna dive into that a little bit here, so if you're not interested, that's fine. You can skip to the workout. We're gonna have a good one. I wanna be dying. If not, Stick around here. Typically, after people graduate law school, they take the bar right in July, and the bar is just a two-day examination that you have to take to prove that you're like competent enough to be a lawyer. And I just honestly was so freaking burnt out after law school. Like, I've really been thinking about this, and I've been in school since I was four years old. Like, constantly. Went straight to undergrad after high school, went straight to law school after college. All I know is school. And by the time I got to my last semester of school, I was dying. Like, I was just like, what do I wanna do with my life? Do I really wanna be a lawyer? Am I sure that I wanna do this? Like, I started questioning literally everything in my life. So I just needed to take a step back for a second, which is again why we had this little hiatus because your girl out here trying to get, get her life together. I decided that I wasn't gonna take the bar exam in July, which is kind of a big deal because I would say probably like 95, if not higher percent of people take the bar exam like right out of law school. So it's kind of unusual to do it this way, I feel like. The exam is a two day exam. The first day, I'm pretty sure, I need to remember this correctly. I'm pretty sure you have to write six essays the first day and then the second day is 200 multiple choice. And it covers like, I don't know, like 12 topics or something like that, 10 topics. Basically all the classes I took in law school, it's a big exam, it's a big deal. It's not something you can just walk in and take. Literally like two days after you graduate law school, we graduated on a Saturday, that Monday you start studying for the exam. And you study from like, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. My roommates are studying for the bar exam right now and I never see them. I like haven't seen them all summer. So it's a big commitment and to be feeling so overwhelmed and kind of lost this last semester, I didn't want to dump all of this energy into an exam that like my heart wasn't into. And if you don't pass, then I'd have to take it again in February because it's only offered twice a year. So it's offered in July and in February. And once you take the bar exam in July, you don't get your results until November. Like, it was just, it was a lot for me to handle right now. Again, if you guys want an in-depth video, I can I can go through, like, my law school experience, how I balance staying fit, like, any questions you have, I'll put, like, a poll on my Instagram, but just let me know if you want to see that video, because I definitely could make that for you and go into, like, all the details. I just kind of wanted to let you guys know what I've been doing, where I've been, as just, you know... I got tired, I got really tired, and I just needed a second to breathe, but now I feel like I'm getting back on track. I, you know, just needed a little change in scenery, a change in perspective, so we started at a new gym. We're gonna take the bar in February. We're getting our life together. Things are, things are slowly but surely looking up, so that's why. That's why there was a long break there. But we're gonna, we're gonna get back into the swing of things. We're gonna get back into the groove. I don't know why I did that, that was really weird, okay. So since it's been a minute, I thought that we would just start off this vlog with a leg day, classical leg day, in the new gym I'm going to. We're gonna get some stuff flowing, we're gonna get the juices flowing, we're gonna get the muscles pumping, cause look, getting a little small, losing some of my gains there for a minute, cause you know, I was sad, but okay. All right, let's go find some breakfast. I actually have like no groceries right now, so we're gonna go grocery shopping after we go to the gym. For breakfast, just gonna have a quick little smoothie. So typically I prefer to use fresh fruit in my smoothies, but when I don't have any groceries, 
because that happens way more often than I'd like it to. I like to keep a bag of frozen fruit in the freezer. That way I can still make a smoothie. And I made a smaller one today because I'm not trying to be super full before the gym. I'm actually gonna head there pretty quickly. Sometimes I put protein in it too, but today I didn't put any protein because I don't know. I just don't wanna feel heavy when I go to the gym. I spent all morning cleaning my room, like deep cleaning. You know, when you just get obsessed and you just clean every inch. That's what I did this morning. So I didn't eat breakfast and that was a mistake. But now it's too close to the time that I like to go to the gym to eat like a real breakfast. So I'm just trying to get something in my stomach so you know I don't pass out in the gym. Super excited to film in this one. Hopefully it's not too busy right now. It's 12 on a Saturday. I'm not sure. We'll find out. <laughs> or anything but I feel like a part of me has been missing my whole entire life until this moment until I did leg day in this gym oh my god I'm yelling I'm so sorry let me calm down what a spectacular leg day <laughs> this also might be the endorphins talking so I think yeah we're just gonna end it here in my car on this high note this happy endorphin like excitement I know I've said it before, but I'm really gonna be more consistent. I feel like I'm finally in a better place. Like I know what I'm doing again. Like I have a plan and I just, you know, I just needed a breather and I feel like I've taken this like big deep breath and like 
I can breathe again and I'm starting to just figure it all out and I want to take you along with me so make sure that you leave any comments below on what you guys want to see on my channel I'm gonna start doing some clothing hauls some different fitness clothing hauls so drop some brands that you want to try that I'll order clothes from and I'll let you know how it is before you have to actually buy it you know I'm trying to save your coin and of course I'll be putting up more workouts there's so much equipment in this gym there's so many different things I can try I'm really excited for the direction we're headed and yeah I'm gonna start with my weekly uploads again we're gonna start once and then see how that goes and then hopefully eventually I'll be able to move that up to two but right now I'm working 40 hours a week so you know your girl's busy I go to the gym at like 8 30 9 o'clock at night coming from a girl who used to go to the gym at 11 a.m that's late i hope that you guys enjoyed this little video back as always i hope that you guys have a terrific terrific week and a beautiful day and i will see you all in the next video and there will be a next video and it will be next week and we're gonna have a grand old time in it okay <laughs> all right i'll see you all next time